Hello and welcome back to this channel. So today's video tutorial is going to be about painting a little bit with Adobe Fresco. So we usually draw illustration where we don't do a lot of painting. But in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to put in shadows and highlights using a painting technique in Adobe Fresco. So we're going to be drawing this rose hip in Adobe Fresco using a special painting brush. So let's just get started. I'm going to go into custom size. So I want to create this into a really huge file. So I'm going to click on this and click on 6000. Make sure you're in pixels and not inches, by the way. And let's click on print size and make this 300 PPI. And then once you're ready with everything, let's click on create document. So the reason I made this into a square artboard is so that if you guys want to upload it to Instagram, you can use the square artboard. Uh, you don't have to worry about cutting out the edges and stuff like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring in the sketch and the color palette. If you want to download the sketch on the color palette, you can find the link in the description box below. Click on your images, photos, and click bring it in. Once you have the sketch, click on done, go to your layers, click on multiply, and let's reduce this. Let's bring in the color palette. Now I'm going to select each color and add it to my library. All I have to do is click and hold to select the color and click to make a mark. It doesn't matter which brush you're using, just create a mark. Once you're done with that, click on this layer and click on delete layer and we'll hide the color palette for now. Okay, let's go to the layer below the sketch layer. If you don't see it, click on this plus to create a new layer. And now let's start drawing. So you could start off by drawing the leaves. So let's do just that. And the brush that I'm going to use for this one is under painting and it's called Dabby. So you can use any brush that you want. My favorite brush would be a gouache brush. Like if I go back here and if I go into my library brushes, by the way, if you have a premium account, you can download all these brushes for free. And if you want to know how to do that, I have a tutorial on that. I'll link it in the description box below. So there are a lot of brushes under gouache and uh, these Kylie's paint box gouache brushes are amazing. But if you cannot have access to it, it's okay. That's why I'm using something that everybody has access to. You can choose any brush you want, like I said, but for this, I'm just going to go with Dabby because it looks, I guess, okay. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go into the different greens that I have. So I'll be using two greens for this particular uh, one. That is this lighter green and then one darker green. So this is an olive green and lighter olive green. That's going to go for the stock, so don't use that. I'm going to choose the lighter green now. And as you can see, I'll just draw like this. My brush size is set to 337. You can actually decrease this size. And I think I would like to do that, maybe 200. Yeah. And I will just draw it like that. Okay. And now let me go ahead to the darker green that I have and draw like this. And now let me go here. You can use the mixer brushes which are actually pretty good as well. And in here you have a lot of kind of mixer brushes actually. There's the big chunky mixer. Now we have to blend this in like blend, blend, blend. So let's go to our smoothing or blending brush or smudge brushes. And in here you can go back to the same brush that you've been using, that is Dabby. And you can have the same setting. And I'm just going to go ahead and mix it in a little bit. Maybe increase the size a little bit. Okay, that looks good to me, I guess. I'm going to undo the check just to see how things are coming along. And I think that looks fine. And we have blended stuff as well. And everything looks great. So let's uncheck this. And now let's go ahead and make this leaf right here. You can do it on the same layer because none of the leaves are overlapping each other. So it's completely okay. So always go ahead and put in the light first. Oops. Go back to your brush. Go back to 200. Or something similar size and add like that and now since this is overlapping this we're going to add darker color in here so that's the whole trick to it like if you have something overlapping make sure you add the darker color there and let's do that again smudge tool since you already selected Dabby in the last setting it's going to continue the setting so it's going to be okay 
and let's mix 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 all right now the last leaf so again lighter green go back to your brush go to your darker green it's okay if you're going on the uh you know rose hip right here it's it's fine because this brush is pretty opaque so it's okay if it is overlapping it doesn't show through the color doesn't show through and i think i want to add a little bit of darker color so i can go ahead and click a little dark and add like this and i like to add a bit things like that and maybe even green and you know just give it a little uh, I don't know, a little bit of a different shades, I guess. Go back to your smudge tool and we're going to go ahead and mix this. Okay, and now if I go ahead and uncheck the sketch layer, you can see that in here it's created a very nice uh, texture kind of an effect, right? So that's what we were looking for. So. Let's go ahead and uncheck that. And now let's draw the all the red things here. So click on a new layer and the berries are going to be on a different layer. So let's start from the one which is at the bottom most. So the bottom most things are this one and this one here. So we're going to go ahead and draw that first. So I will just go ahead and uh, this is actually behind the leaf layer. Everything is except this one. So you can actually draw it on top and then later on move it below because then it will be easier for you to see what's happening. If you're already familiar with this process, you don't have to do this. You can actually go to create a layer right below the leaf layer and do that as well. So let me just go ahead and uh, select the color that I want. I'm going to take this really nice red and go back to my brush and I will draw something like this. And I'm trying to make sure that I create like a nice uniform outer edge. It's okay sometimes if you cannot, it's totally fine. And let's draw it like that. And I'm going to go ahead and choose the darker color. And since here, there's a bit of an overlap, I'm gonna add a bit of color here. And I'm adding it in the direction so that it's to the outer edge like this. See what I'm doing there? I'm not adding like this, adding a bit like that. I think that should be good. Okay, and a bit here. And now I'll go ahead and choose some white because I want to add some white. And this round part where you see here on the top, that's where I'm going to add some white. Don't worry, we are going to mix it in. I'm going to add some white here as well. Let's go to the smoothening brush now or smudge brush and we're going to smudge 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 over here so that this this is a bit too dark i wouldn't want that go back here go to your red and i'm going to add a bit of red here like that okay now you can go to your smoothing brush or um, smudge i don't know why i call it smoothing brush but yeah so you can create that and of course you have to create a little bit of a gradient like this and we're going to do the same thing here it needs to be subtle you can use your two finger tap to undo things okay and i think i want this like that I'm going to uncheck the sketch layer because I just want to see if I did okay over here. Because when you're smudging, what happens is you smudge out the edges and then it gets, you know, all blurry and not nice. So I'm just going to fix it a little bit. I'm not adding too much pressure so that I get this nice texture of the brush. For example, if I do this, you can see the texture of the brush. But if I press it, you don't. So I'm trying to use the texture of the brush to show up over here. Let's go ahead and check the layer again. And there's some rogue stroke here. So I'll just go ahead and delete that with my eraser tool. Okay, now it's time to make the crown. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, choose the brown color that I have. That's the lighter brown and go back to your brush. And I'll just, you can decrease the size if you want, by the way. I would recommend that. And let's make the darker brown. 
gonna add it here like that. Okay, that is it. I'm not gonna use the smudge tool there because I want it to be two separate entities. Now let's do this one and we can use the same layer, it does not matter. So I'm going to go ahead and again, pick up the reddish, that is the most red that we have. And uh, let's draw the borders first so that we don't mess up. And then let's give some color. You can increase this obviously. And choose the darker color. And we're going to give it to this part. And I want to cover this area as well because it's actually overlapping like that. Okay, and let's go ahead and choose white. And as white, you have to give it in this corner like that. And I want to give a little bit down here as well. And maybe a little bit over here. And that should be okay, but here. Okay, it's time to smudge everything. So let's start off with the red. You can increase the size if you want. Be careful in the corners and let's do this white as well. In here, I wanna make it very subtle. Right, I'm going to go ahead and uncheck the sketch just to make sure my borders are nice and neat. So don't worry about this part because we'll have brown there. So let me go ahead and choose red and the pixel brush. I'm just going to quickly kind of make a nice edge. Only the exposed parts, not one where things are overlapping it because we don't care about that, right? You can draw a couple of lines here just to give it a bit of a texture. Okay, once you're done, uncheck the sketch layer and we're gonna go back to that layer and give our brown. So go ahead and choose the lighter brown first and uh, I'm going to go ahead and give it here and I'll choose the darker brown. I'm going to make something like that here as well. By the way, if it feels like it's kind of mixing with the old paint, what you can do is you can click a new layer and then you can go ahead and add this as well. You can. I always like to give my light browns first because darker colors tend to, it's harder to fix them, I guess, but it's okay, it's up to you. Let's quickly go ahead and uncheck this to make sure that it looks fine. So now let's do the rest of the artwork. That is this one. And as you can see, this is about this layer. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on a new layer and choose the red again. And we're going to go ahead to the same brush and let's draw this. And now let's take the dark red. You can actually choose a bit darker as well over here in this bottom. It's like really beneath, right? So I'm gonna color this one here. That. All right, let's go to our white. For white, I'm going to add here again, but I'm gonna add a little more here. And you see the round bit here. Okay, let's use the smudge tool now and try to smudge this. Okay, and now let's go ahead and smudge this part. You can reduce the size by the way, because it looks like it's too big. Don't worry about this green thing, that's just because it's um, in the below layer. So we can actually move this later on to a layer below and I think it should be good. So this should come on top and then you see it looks fine, right? I do want a bit of red, And that looks good as well. And time to make 
the brown part of it. I moved into a different layer just so that it's easier. And I'm going to add a little bit there, a little dark brown. Oh, that's not brown. This is the brown, a little dark brown here and a bit over here. Okay, so click on a new layer and now it's time for the last one, the most important one. So let's go ahead and choose a bright red. So I just changed the brush size so that it's much easier to control. You can keep it the same, it's fine. So I'm going to go ahead and draw the border. So take on white. Obviously, we're going to add something here and something here and something here as well. And next, let's take some dark red, the other red which we use, by the way. And I'm going to draw some streaks like this. Now it's time to smudge these things. Can increase the size to about 204. I think I wanted a bit more, like 316 or something. And you see the motion of my brush strokes. So at any time you feel like, oh my God, it's too much white, this is not gonna work. You can always go back to your red and go to your brush tool and just add some red, you know, like it doesn't matter. Okay, and now let's add some crown to this so go back to your brown and in here i'm going to add a little bit of brown around like that and take the darker brown and put in the center and then like that okay and let's do the final thing this dark so i'm just going to go back all the way down below and click on a new layer and in here we're going to choose two colors that is one is the lighter olive and dark olive so let's choose the lighter olive first Go back to your brush tool and it's, oh, yeah, lighter olive. And then add it to the top of your stock like that. Now, and now let's go ahead and take the darker olive, this one, and add it here. This brush itself has the property of mixing, so you could also use the hat. Like you just draw it lightly, don't press in too much. And now I'm going to go to white because I want to add a bit of highlight here. Like that. Like that. And like that. The stock is ready. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck the sketch layer just to make sure that everything is neat and tidy and stuff like that. And that looks fine. But for the leaves, they look very, very bland. So I'm going to go ahead, click on a new layer, click on clipping mask, and I will choose the darkest green that I have. And obviously you can still use the same brush. Make sure you reduce it a lot. Let's see if this size works. This size works. It is at set at 84. So I'm just going to go ahead and draw my classic leaf design. If you have followed my other tutorials, you know that I always draw this for my leaves. Okay, so now it's time to add some background so that it looks pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go into brushes again and under painting, you'll see something called as impressionist. Let's select that brush and I'm going to go into color palette and choose the yellow that we have. Make sure you go all the way down. That is where you have the image layer and click on new layer. And let's increase the size to about 1500. Let's check it out first. Yeah, that looks good. And now what you're going to do is just add in some strokes like this. And our illustration or our painting is ready. That brings us to the end of this tutorial. And I really hope you liked this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and hit on that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you get notified every time I post a new video. So I guess I'll see you in the next tutorial then. Bye-bye.